Ravens fans, thirst season is officially upon us. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like got to made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan and he like the Ravens. YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's St. Raven here with another episode of NFL Questions from Subs, where you can ask me any NFL question you want and we answer it in the video just like this. If you ever want to be part of it, you can send me an email to teamkeepitclean at gmail.com. For the patrons, you know you can send it directly on Patreon. Team Keep It Clean, the Seahawks, they seem to be having a little situation going on right now. And you know Ravens fans, they love taking advantage of every single situation. And let's listen to just how they plan on doing that. So first question on this episode came from yours truly. Should the Ravens sign Bobby Wagner? Well, it's funny because it was a video about maybe a month ago that we made about some potential free agents that we wanted the Ravens to look at. What would be a sort of dream offseason uh, for the Baltimore Ravens? And Bobby Wagner was somebody that I brought up. And I said that I expected the Seahawks to cut him. Uh, because he had like uh, he had a, like a 20 mil cap hit um, on the Seahawks salary cap and it, it was not guaranteed for him. None of his salary this year was guaranteed. So I was like, oh, yeah, they mm -hmm. oh, yeah, he's out of there. And now about a month later, he is finally out of there. So Ravens got to be thinking about it like they got to be thinking about it because they keep bringing in linebackers every year. Um, because they don't know their linebacker situation yet. You have a Patrick Queen. You got a Malik Harrison. LJ Ford, I believe, is getting ready to be a free agent. Josh Bynes is getting ready to be a free agent. Uh, you also have Christian Welch, and you have Chris Board, who I think is also getting ready to be a free agent, I believe. Um, so you got a lot of questions there. Why not answer one of them early before free agency even starts? I uh, see, and the thing, you know, Ravens, they love all their draft picks, but they also love another type of draft pick, a comp pick. But he was cut from his team. So you could throw that whole comp pick thing way out the window. You ain't even got to worry about it. You ain't got to worry about it, Ravens. So it's like, why not? It only makes sense, right? To get somebody all pro, plenty of pro bowls, all that good stuff played at a high level for such a long time. Why not? And I know there's going to be some people that say, oh, but no, no. We need to focus on offensive line. And I know, I understand that, I get that. I is Raven. Some Ravens fans have this weird way of thinking that if you do one thing, then that's all you can do, and you can't do anything else, and and that's it. You're not allowed to make any other moves. And that's not the case. It's not the case. Just because you sign one guy does not mean that you can't sign several others. But. Some people just, they have this, this way of thinking that I just, I don't understand. Um, so you could sign a Bobby Wagner and still focus on the offensive line. You could bring in more help in other areas of the team and still focus on the offensive line. All their focus wouldn't just be going to linebacker if they signed Bobby Wagner. And they'd be, okay, you know what? That's it. That's it. We're done focusing on stuff. No, it doesn't have to work like that. But I would love it. I would love it. With Patrick Queen, oh, man, make his job that much easier. Let him sort of be like a rush linebacker. Like, Patrick Queen could do, you know, he could blitz like crazy, man. That boy could use that speed like crazy. And allow Patrick Queen to think less. Really allow just everybody on defense to think less. Make everybody's job that much easier. One of my biggest, um, my biggest uh, sayings for this offseason, I've been saying quality over quantity quality over quantity and i still do go by that but another one that i'm going to go ahead and let it be known that i'm going by this off season make everybody's job easier make everybody's job easier um we talked about in the video yesterday with them possibly selecting a jordan davis he would make everybody's job easier if they signed a bobby wagner he would help make everybody's job easier and it, when people's jobs are easier, things flow more smoothly. Everybody can be on the same page, and it can be a beautiful thing. Seahawks, they may be sort of having a fire sale now that they like they got rid of Russell Wilson, and, and they they got Drew Locke. Like if I was if I was a Seahawk, I probably would have told them like, uh, you, you can keep Drew Locke. We don't need 
good. No, it's true. We straight. We good off of that one. But no, nah, it's all good, man. Shout out to Drew. Um, but yeah, we we'll, so we'll see what happens, man. But it seems like they could be giving away a lot right now, especially since it seems like they may be kind of starting over. So hashtag Bobby to Baltimore. Next question came from my boy Swaggy Squirrel. See, I told uh, Ravens fans, we be thirsty, man. We be ready. Ready. Somebody even smell like they about to hit free agency. Ravens fans all over it, man. More like 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 Carlton from Bel Air more than he was all over. Anyway, team keep it clean. He said, Engraving, hope I caught you doing well. I wanted to hear your thoughts on something I read today. So I'm sure you've seen the Seahawks madness. And I've seen a report saying teams are inquiring about DK Metcalf's availability. And apparently he can be made available for the right price. Do you think we should or ever would go all out for a guy like that? See, I don't even think you would have to go all out for him. I don't even think it would take a first round pick, honestly. I really don't. Seahawks just got a boatload of first round picks and second round picks and this and that. But I don't even think it would take a first. It seems as if Seahawks are pressing the reset button on the franchise. They starting over. They trying to run it back. So a guy like DK Metcalf, who is nice, who is nice. Oh, man, I just imagine him. <laughs> You got ooh, Rashad Bateman, you got Hollywood, you got DK Metcalf, you got Mark Andrews. Ooh, I would love it. I would love it. <coughs> because, see, see, my, my, my throat is getting dry. It's Ravens Thirst season. I'm not drinking my water. Got to acknowledge the Thirst season. So, man, I would not be opposed to it at all. Second round pick, take it. Take it. And I believe he is in the final year of his contract because he was, what, a third round pick? Was he late second or early third? I forget what, what round he got drafted in. But he's at the end of his deal. So Ravens, ooh, they would have some decisions to make because – you would have DK Metcalf at the end of his deal. You got Hollywood. You got to decide whether you're going to pick up that fifth-year option or not. And then he will have another year on his deal. And I know, Eric, again, Eric DaCosta said it. He said it. But they haven't done it yet. I'm still waiting, my friend. He said it. He said he was going to. But it hasn't been made official yet. And then you, of course, have Rashad Bateman for the next three years. So, A. Hey, um, I, I just don't think that DK Metcalf would uh, really want to come to the Ravens um, simply because winning team, yes. Could he make a big impact? Yes. But um, his numbers will go down. His numbers will go down um, because this is not the passing offense that uh, he would be uh, accustomed to um, unless they started letting Lamar cook. <laughs> but uh, I, I, would, I would love it, though. I would love it, but no, I don't think it's happening. But he, oh, he said he also said obviously our wide receiver, our wide receiver room is the best it's been in years. But I think giving LJ a guy like DK Metcalf would be insane. Plus, LJ to DK has a nice ring to it. Also, they cut Bobby Wagner today. What are the odds you think we capitalize and give him a call? See, we done already covered that. We done already covered it, my friend. Uh, but he said I love to go all out and get eight a ring. Yeah, get him the whole team a ring. Yes. We would love it. I uh, love your content, OG. Hey, appreciate you, man. So, yeah, DK Metcalf, I would be with it all day. All day. And he will give us that aggressive, big body wide receiver, good speed, too. Physical, good block. He, he, I feel like he would fit right in, like, so well with the Ravens, man. He would fit right in, man. He could be a deep threat, too. He got some underrated speed. Oh man, I, <laughs> I I want it to happen, but I just I know it's not gonna happen. But I would still love it if it did. Next question came from my boy TA eight hundred four. He said, "What up, Engraving? Hope you and your family and team keep it clean have been well. I cannot wait for free agency to open up. So I was thinking one day that Lamar's goal is to win a Super Bowl. He will do anything possible to make that a reality. Uh, do you think that a reason Lamar hasn't signed a contract yet is because he doesn't want to take up too much cap this year and allow the Ravens to go all in?" 
Uh, Lamar knows that if he signed a big contract, there's a chance the team could take a dip when it comes to filling up the roster with quality. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. No, I don't think that's it. With him, if he if he signed a contract right now, he would actually take up a lot less cap room this year than he does right now. I just don't think he's committed long term to the Ravens right now. I know that I've seen some people say, "Oh, well, he he got Ravens tatted on his chest." What about the tattoo? You ain't never had no cover up before. Like, come on now. Like, that's come on, man. But and, and I'm not saying that Lamar Jackson would want to leave the Ravens, but. I just don't think he's committed long term to them right now. I think he just really wants to see what how they move moving forward. He of course loves the Ravens and whatnot. I'm sure he loves the team, loves the coaching staff, at least most of them. Uh, but, <laughs> but I just don't think he's committed here long term. Um, and and of course with the market getting ready to be all to the bit, be being ready to be a reset. Um, still sure he's still waiting on that as well because you got guys like Aaron Rodgers, he getting ready to get a deal. Uh, you got Kyler Murray getting ready to get a deal. You got Derek Carr getting ready to get a deal. So you got some quarterbacks getting ready to get paid, um, and those guys will help uh, Lamar see his future. Uh, th those guys will help Lamar see, all right, let me see what these guys got. And some of them he'll be ahead, some of them he'll be behind because he'll, he'll be behind um, – uh, what's it called? Aaron Rodgers, uh, as far as money or Willie, or Willie, cause it's all about that timing, baby. So, hey, right, right time comes along for a quarterback on the market. Ooh, ooh show me the money. Um, but yeah, I, I just um, I don't think it's because of what you were saying. I, I just think it's because he's he's not ready to commit long term to the Ravens yet. I think he wants to see their plan be executed properly. Next question came from my guy, Gold Morano. He said, freeze frame. Hey, great me. you're still doing an excellent job with the podcast. We do all right. It ain't nothing crazy. He said, thank you for keeping us informed of everything. Ravens, before I ask my question, I just wanted you to see something that had me laughing out loud. I paused the video to clean up the kitchen, and when I came back, I saw what you see above on my 55-inch TV. Oh, you got a big TV. Uh, it almost makes you look like you sat on a tack or something. It's not as funny as when you... This guy, he get, I'm gonna get on my little bill cut now, man. He said, uh, it's not as funny as when you cut your hair with no clipper attachments. Hey, see, hey, you, you know what time it is, man. That, Cause that's exactly what it is. A couple of times that started off as sort of an accident, but then I was just like, man, I embrace the bald look too. I don't mind it. I know my mom, she would tell me like, oh, uh, why, why'd you cut it so low? And even my wife, she'd be like, oh, initially when I first did it, she's like, oh, but. Now she got used to it. Whenever I do, do that. Um, but anyway, he said, uh, it's not as funny as when you cut your hair with no clipper attachments. The 000 setting. See, oh, you know about it. And he said, and start your video by saying, little Bill here. Funny stuff. LOL. Appreciate it. And just to show y'all the picture that he's talking about, hopefully this comes up clearly. Uh, oh, no, it ain't going to come up clearly. But anyway, uh, my face was looking shocked at something. I, I don't know what I was talking about at that point in the video. But I might have surprised myself. Anyway, he said, uh, based on the Ravens' many needs and in order to create a Super Bowl champion, would you, at 14, invest heavily in the offense in order to compete with Cincinnati, Kansas City, etc., by drafting a 6'5", 215 contested catch-grabbing yak fighting dog in Drake, London? Uh, in order to create more mismatches for opposing defenses, take a ton of double coverage off of Mandrews, create equal red zone threat to... Uh, to that of Mandrews and force defenses to pick their poison inside the 20. Or, my answer is already yes. My answer is already yes. Straight up. That's it. I'm done. Yes. He said, or would you opt for a freak of nature, DT Jordan Davis standing at 6'6", 341, running a 4'7", 40 yard dash. Which one would you take assuming that you have free agency, cap casualties, and nine other draft picks to fill your offensive line needs? I take the wide receiver. I take the wide receiver. Straight up. Offense, like, I would love Jordan Davis now, too, now. And hopefully I, I would try to trade back in the first again and get him, too. Uh, especially if he started dropping. But I would take the wide receiver. Reason being, um, and it, aggressiveness, aggression, mismatches. And I would, um, I would be beating down the door of Greg Roman saying, hey, 
It's receiver time, man. Nah, not that fullback out there running around. Nope. Receivers. Receivers. And Mark Andrews, of course. I mean, he's kind of receive anyway. But, hey, it's t you using these guys. Oh, trust me, you are. There's going to be plenty of sets. Mark Andrews, Hollywood, Bateman, and Drake. Drizzy going to be out there. So, hey, get ready for it. Three, four wide receiver sets. Um, oh, those, those things will go crazy, too, because everybody brings something to the table. Everybody does. And they bring it to the table as wide receivers, not as gadgets, not just as blocker, but as wide receivers, as pass catchers of the football. And you design this thing right, it can be unstoppable. You design this thing, and of course, health is huge, too. But you design this thing right, oh, man, like... You going for it, man. And, and, and a strong offense is, is more important these days than a strong defense. You got to take advantage of what the NFL is presenting to you. NFL is, has been trying to tell Ravens. I mean, they've been telling all 31 other teams too. Hey, it's offense, offense, building offense. Hey, we created the rules so your offense can take advantage. Take advantage, please. Do it. But Ravens been like, no, 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 we ain't doing No. So Ravens should take advantage. But I'll try to get Jordan Davis too. Yeah, this feels like a dream.